Meet Daisy, she's got a way of making beautiful things. Never know what nature will teach her what inspiration will bring. Hello, Gumboot Kids. Hi, Daisy. I love walking by the pond in the park. Just this morning, I was so excited to see all kinds of pond creatures, like minnows, turtles, dragonflies, and my favorite, frogs. They were leaping from lily pad to lily pad. Ponds are fascinating places to find inspiration. Would you like to make some clothes peg pond creatures with me, Gumboot Kids? Yay! All right, let's do this. Step one, let's observe some pond creatures. Lots of different creatures live in and around ponds. What pond creature would you like to make? I'm gonna make a worm. I'm gonna make a fish. I've seen frogs in the creek by my house. I'll make a frog. I love when they croak. Step two, draw the outline of your creature's profile. That's it, looking good. Use a felt pen to draw features on your creature. You'll want to draw it about the length of a clothes peg. Later, we'll use the clothes peg to make our creatures come to life. Great, I'm gonna draw big eyes on my frog. Once you've drawn the outline, color it in. What color is your pond creature? I like bright green. Now, let's decorate. I'm gonna decorate mine with shiny sequins. Step number three. Cut out your creature and glue it to a clothes peg. Line up the creature so that its mouth is at the opening of the clothes peg and the tail is at the part of the clothes peg that you pinch to open. Can you please help me with the glue? Yes, of course. Thank you. I love making nature crafts. Great work, Gumboot Kids. All right, let's see what you've made. <laughs> These pond creatures are so funny and cute. Your fish looks really good. Thank you. I like your worm. Thank you. Aw, your pond creatures are super cute. I'm using mine to clip my papers together on my desk. Like this. See you soon, Gumboot Kids. Goodbye, Daisy.